Can you take some plates and we see how you, how you do? Carrying plates correctly is one of the most basic skills a waiter needs to master. This is too high. Okay. Sorry. Like this. You see, if you're like this, you can go like that. Look, it's not going to fall. It's not going to fall. It's going to fall if we do it. No, it's not. It's going to fall. Four plates. Four. Like that there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Like that. Please don't do it, no, no. please. Get it your... will break. Okay, now. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. No, you're okay now. You're okay. This is resting on your finger here. Is that right? Let me see it. You see? It's resting on your finger there. So it can't, it can't slip. It can't actually slip. But you see, you have to be straight. Oh, 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 oh. My plates aren't straight, though. I could do it, but my plates aren't straight. So you need to practice. Ooh. But this is good. Now, in most restaurants, you would carry three plates. You could carry four plates, and you would do it in that way, if you're in a rush. And if you do kind of banqueting, you know, what I call a la marotte, you could have five like this, but this is not really what we're going to do. You have another one on his head. We don't want to do that. No, you can't do that. In a restaurant, it's a given you carry plates and trays, but what I want the trainees to understand is that they're always on shore. It's a bit like in a theater, and their posture is very important, but what also I want them to understand is that they must keep eye contact at all time with the customers. Have a conversation, please. Can you talk? Talk about anything. What did you sleep last night? Uh, yeah, actually pretty good. Like, not too bad. Just to be And look, I as I put the plate down, I look at people. I'm just trying to see if they want something, okay? If I go, for example, like that, I make him smell my armpit. I don't want that. <laughs> Although I don't smell bad. And you see, I'm taking my distance. I put it down, and I'm going away. That's it. All right, please, let's go. Go. First, it's Danielle, Nikita, and Brooks' turn. Okay, Danielle is good because you are two plates, two hands. This is a perfect thing to do. For Fred, a good waiter is always attentive, making eye contact with their guests, even as they deliver their food. It should not be down to the customer to try to catch the waiter's eye. Can I show you what you've done? Brooke, actually, because she was serving me, as she was coming to the table, she thought it was very funny, so she was kind of giggling, but she did not say she was giggling. She was going like this, look, she was going like this. <laughs> and then she moved the plate down and she let you. <laughs> it was very funny. Wherever they serve, these skills will be fundamental. Okay, this is better already. Oh, well done. Thank you, sir. Bon appetit. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> So, look, you see what's happening here? They are talking, they're ignoring you, typical, yeah? So, what I would do here, I would go for the easy one. Okay. Easy kiln. This one and this one. Fred believes every interaction with guests should be performed within specific boundaries. He's going inside a comfort zone. When you are at the imaginary line, you knock on the door, somebody look at you, eye contact, you can come in, okay? That's what it is. But also, it's just a comfort zone for the customers. They don't want to be invaded by you. Look, I'm quite far away, but not too far. I can still look at them and smile. Come on, efficiency, speed, boom, boom, boom. The final exercise is to work on the trainee's communication skills. A good waiter is not just attentive, they are able to sell their guests the full experience the restaurant has to offer. If I was introduced here, say, good afternoon, how are you ladies? Fine, thank, thank, thank you. What can I get you to drink? Um, a glass of champagne, maybe? Um, what are you having? I'm not sure. So, most people, would go, ah, oh, that's a good idea, or they would go, no, I don't want that, I'll have a gin and tonic, I'll have a Bloody Mary, okay? If you are in an high street restaurant and they're serving Prosecco, what I would say is, good afternoon, ladies, how are you? What can I get you to drink? A glass of Prosecco, maybe? What's Prosecco? It's an Italian sparkling wine. So it's like champagne, okay. only it's made in, in Italy, and very often it's more sweeter than champagne. It's a lovely drink. Glass of Prosecco, maybe? Oh, yes, yes. That would be lovely. lovely. And would you like some steel or sparkling water? Still, please. Steel? Sparkling. Sparkling, yes. lovely. You're going to be taking the order. So I'll be sitting down. Okay. Um, hang on, I completely forgot what I was supposed to say. Good evening, what can I get you to drink? A glass of Prosecco, blah, blah, maybe? <laughs> um, yeah, why not? Yeah, that would be lovely. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Just before you carry on, what did you think?